Hello Americans, another friends and subscribers around the world. Did you get that off, Red? Too small. Oh, really? I'm looking. The bolts are too small? The, the Alan Rich? Oh, yeah, look at that top bottom drawer. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Life on the homestead. Anyway, I thought I would get on here. I hadn't done a video for a couple days. Um, you know, I'm wearing my doing it cheap. You know, I'm all about doing it cheap. Did Bob have to send that to Yeah, Bob had to send this to me because he's tired of me calling him cheaper than dirt, which you should check that out. It's some good cheap angle. <laughs> but uh, and what's funny, you know, he sends me this shirt to remind me, but I could still say, hey, Bob, check out Bob at uh, Cheaper Than Dirt because just because it's on my chest doesn't mean I can see it. Man, I go like this, my beard blocks it. See that, Bob? <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, check out Bob at uh, <laughs> do it. I almost did it. You did. Cheap. Um, oh yeah, see yeah, you later, man. Have a wonderful day and a better, better tomorrow. tomorrow. I love that. Me too. But anyway, I was just going to go over what uh, we got going on this week. You know, like I said, I'm all about uh, doing it cheap too and, you know, 100% recycled, reclaim the cabins, you know, completely, you know, recycled and reclaimed other than the fasteners and stuff like I've said before in the, you know, that $50 cabin video that's gets a you know a lot of people checking it out but that was two years ago so I'm farther into that but anyway I was gonna actually go with styrofoam that um, styrofoam insulation and we went down below yesterday to get some of that to get some insulation stuff to get this place insulated and I started looking at the R value value of it and it's like a three or something and then it's uh you know, obviously it's styrofoam, so it's a you know burning stuff. So I decided to go ahead after we sat there and all that. Decided to go ahead and go with uh, which I would have rather got a higher R rating on this, but you know, money things will make you do what you got to do. So I went ahead and went with the R13. So I picked up a oh about a dozen rolls, brand new. You know, a, not reclaimed or recycled. I did use the this wall. And the other side wall, I did use uh, some reclaimed insulation that I got out of that building that I tore down. So, you know, I, I would definitely use it if I had it. It's a lot more of a pain to use insulation that's been installed than brand new. So, especially rolling it on the ceiling, that would be... Because in here, you know, obviously most of the time when you'd build a place, you'd do your insulation. You know, you'd be able to either do the attic if you had an attic. Or you do it from the top, where you know we've already got this built, so I'm going to do this from underneath. I'm going to do that when Miss Kitty's got her little side thing, because the insulation drive her nuts. So I'm going to start insulating today because the temperatures have now, you know, winters, you know, into fall and winters actually finally coming on. It's about a month late, but they're calling all for uh, below freezing temperatures after this weekend. So I got to get all the hoses and everything, you know, wrapped up and all that, and have to go back to hauling the water from the um, spigot over there and all that. You know, I I like spring and fall and summer way better than winter. But right, so got to put up more wood. I got some more tires for the um, Ford. You know, it was my birthday last week, and my father-in-law brought me here. I'll show this just to keep that. I don't want to look over here. It's okay. Oh. Father in law always finds me my amazing. Look at this thing, man. You know, he brought me that pedal stone and all that. But look at this. I've never seen an old vice quite like that from 1914. And then it's when you open the jaws, it's got to adjust here. And then when you open the jaws, you can put a drill bit in here and actually drill. You know, inside, you know, like a lodge pull or whatever, you, uh, you know, obviously I wouldn't want to be cranking on my steel and metal and all that, this thing is just amazing. So, man, once I get my blacksmith shop built out there, it's going to be a, with all my old stuff, it'll be like a little museum. So, I wanted to go over that, getting ready, we're going to pull tomatoes and stuff. These ones I actually am probably going to, um, I put a drape because they're up next to the cabin and they're still doing just amazing. I got so many that are turning red. The ones out here and over there are getting, um, we did have one 
one morning a couple days ago that had some frost, so these ones are pretty much done, so the goats will enjoy that. Anything you can think of, Miss Kitty? Yeah, I got a question about your installation of the insulation. Installation of the insulation? The installation, installation of the insulation. Of the insulation. Okay, so the wall that I'm looking at now has siding, so how are you going to insulate that? Yeah, so this, when I uh, first did this, this wall, you know, and you can see where I wiped the mud. You know, because really we want to play with the cob, and uh, I'm going to build me a rocket stove. When I get the back section done, I'm going to build a rocket stove. Uh, I want to actually build a rocket stove bed type of thing to put our bed on. Anyway, so we're playing with the mud, and when I did this, I'd actually hauled a little bit of mud in. <coughs> and my plan, which time basically is what messed it up, but my plan was I was going to cover this in mud. And I was going to actually fill the walls with uh, sawdust insulation from that building I was tearing down. And that didn't play out quite like I had planned. So now, um, I'm going to end up, I'm not going to tear it from the outside, but in the inside I'm going to tear a couple of my planks off, you know, gently. And I'm going to have to tuck it, you know, run it down in between the... Uh, which it's actually framed with lodge poles. I'm going to have to run it between the lodge poles down to get it insulated with a stick. It ought to be a lot of fun. So I'll probably, what I'll probably end up doing is tucking it down and then I'll pull the bottom one so that I can, because obviously inside you're not going to get a long pole to shove down in there because of the ceiling or roof. So I'll, it's it's going to be a, it's going to be fishing. <laughs> it's going to be like fishing <laughs> Like a little puzzle. Cow. Yeah, so that, uh, I won't want to, film that because there could be, could be some naughty language yeah. doing that. But it's going to be nice to have it insulated. Like I said, the only, we have that wall and that other wall insulated. The side wall um, has never had no insulation. I just had plastic and stuff over it. And so it's open and now, yeah, now the it's outside. Open. I pulled it off yeah. for the summertime and stuff. So I'm getting ready. That's actually going to be the first wall I do is the end wall. I'm going to uh, insulate it and then put plastic over it and uh, which the plastic I'm using is recycled it's that these tarps and stuff that I have from uh, the lumber company they bring lumber in and stuff because Colt works at the mill here so I go and pick those up and then uh, what else is I going to go over anything else Ms. no that was my question that's pretty much what we got going on you know today I'll uh, just do a little check-in. Um, some of the stuff I'll have to have Miss Kitty. You know, if I think it's something that you can... I don't think you really want to watch me insulate, but if it's something you know, I think needs to be um, videoed or whatever, we'll do that. But other than that, so the $50 cabin, you know, like I said, that $50 cabin video, which has gotten views, it's just crazy. But the, now with this, this probably puts the... You know, we call it the cabin, it's the snow shelter, just to get that clear, you know, because I live in that vagabond in there. But, uh, the cabin, I would say now is, uh, what would you say, Miss Kitty? Is that where it probably seven or eight hundred bucks, you know, with insulation mm -hmm. and everything? Yeah. So, start it off, man, fifty dollars. But, you just keep adding stuff to it to make it cozy. That was just to get us through the. That winter. Yeah, that winter. And it did it. It was miserable, but mm -hmm. we did it. We did it. All right, you all. Go have a good day, and we'll check in soon.